Here now, Trey Gowdy, former House Oversight Committee Chairman and Fox News contributor. Good to have you in New York, yes, Mr. Gowdy. Thank, thank you. you very much for being here. Um, so, you know, your reaction to the missing of this deadline, and Jerry Nadler also has said, the chairman has said that, that they're asking him to break his constitutional obligation. And before you answer, I want to sneak in that sound. Let's watch that. We need these materials to fulfill our constitutional obligations, uh, period. Our chief constitutional obligation is to hold the president accountable, especially in an instance where the uh, Department of Justice says it cannot hold the president accountable. Those judgments must be made by Congress, not by a political appointee, the attorney general. What do you think about that? Um, I think he's right in this limited regard. It is Congress's responsibility to investigate malfeasance by the president. So, Nadler, go, go right ahead. Uh, Mueller interviewed 500 witnesses. Jerry, go ahead and start. Uh, but the executive branch does not have to produce its work product so Congress can then use it against the executive branch. This, this subpoena deadline, I'll be surprised if Barr ever produces everything. And they can go to court, but they will lose in court. What you saw today is for a public consumption. Uh, it's, a, it's a communications war. It's not a constitutional war. That's clear. The executive branch does not have to comply with arbitrary deadlines set by a co-equal branch. All right. So tonight, um, one of the big questions has been whether or not the letter that we saw from Attorney General Barr accurately represented the principal conclusions in the Mueller report. Um, and I think that, you know, most of us have assumed since we know that that we, we've heard that Mr. Mueller has been kind of integral in that process, as had Rod, Rod Rosenstein, the attorney general, deputy attorney general. But there's a piece out tonight that just crossed moments ago on The New York Times, which says that some of the investigators on the team, on Mueller's team, feel that the portrayal of the president is uh, more positive than they felt in terms of the findings from all of their work over the past couple of years. What do you make of that? Not at all surprising. You have 40 agents and almost 20 lawyers. Um, I'd be shocked if they all were of unanimous opinion. Remember with the Clinton email, Jim Baker disagreed with Jim Comey. He believed up until the very end that they had a case that was prosecutable so I'm not at all surprised by that. The only thing that matters is whether or not you had sufficient probable cause to criminally charge someone. Um, whether you had uh, some bad acts, some misbehavior. The good thing about the criminal justice system is we have standards. It's beyond a reasonable doubt to get a conviction, but it's probable cause to charge someone. And if you don't have probable cause, how close you came to it is irrelevant. All right. So. Full transparency, you feel that if those arguing in favor of full transparency really mean that, they are also going to want to produce a whole lot of other documents that explain another part of this story. Um, well, those arguing in, in favor of full transparency will not be satisfied with the Mueller report. They will want to see uh, the transcripts from the grand jury interviews. They'll want to see the underlying data. I mean, this same game that's being played now, which is we don't believe Barr's summary, they're going to say we don't believe Mueller's report. We want to read these witness interviews for ourselves. So you're then in a position of relitigating the Department of Justice's decision not to charge someone. And if we open that door, if we begin to go down the path where, where you can investigate, but there's not enough evidence to charge, and then be required to turn over all the incriminating evidence you found, then I don't know why, why we have any evidentiary standards Plus, left. I mean, the, the process just goes around and around because the process is that, that Congress has the right to investigate, to look into it, but they can't charge anyone. What they can do is sort of make a recommendation to charge, and then, then it would go back to the DOJ, who's already handled it, and handed it off to a special counsel for two years, correct? Or they can impeach. And, or they can and, impeach. And, 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 and if they're really, if Adam Schiff is really concerned about collusion, um, the collusion that he hasn't been able to identify for the last two years, then he can have his own. I mean, Congress has a lot of power. Bring in the same 500 witnesses that Mueller interviewed, but don't take somebody else's work and then second guess it, micromanage it, and pick and choose parts of it you like and don't like to try to use it for political purposes. Hey, Congress, you're a co-equal branch. Go do your own investigation. All right, before I let you go, i got to ask you one question about a story that we did last night with regard to the security breach at Mar-a-Lago. Does it concern you that the president's other home is also, you know, a, a public place where people come and go? I mean, that, that's got to be a nightmare for the Secret Service, I would imagine. I'm sure it is. I was there two weeks ago. Um, I 
in the interest of full disclosure, I'm a huge fan of law enforcement. I thought they did a phenomenal job. It's really hard when you have a president um, who likes to interact with people um, to, 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 to keep him safe. I was stunned at how tight the security was when I was there. And in terms of secret staying there, no one has reported how badly Lindsey Graham and Mick Mulvaney lost it off to the, being the president. So that secret has remained. I hear it and hear it first, though, tonight, folks. Lindsey Graham and Mick Mulvaney will be giving you a call after this. Thank you very much, yes, Trey Gowdy. Good to see you tonight. Yes, ma'am.